Today, we will learn about the number three, the letter B, to be brave like Miriam, and about baby Moses. I have an idea. Let's play a game of sink or float. Okay. We'll see what sinks and what floats on top of the water. Let's sing a song about it. Ooh, that's a good idea. Okay. okay. Does it float on top? Does it sink down to the floor? Is it heavy like a rock? Is it light like a balloon? Can you float it on the water? Or sink it to the bottom? Does it sink or float? All right, let's see what we have. Okay, I have a rubber ducky. And we have a rock. And a leaf, that's a big leaf. It's a big leaf. Hmm. And we have toy cars. <laughs> let's do it. Okay, so you wanna do the rubber ducky first? Yes. Let's do it, ready? Here we go. Float. Sink or float. Oh. That one floats. Here we go. Okay. The rock. It feels mm. a little bit heavier than the duck. Yeah. So, I don't know. Sink or float? What do you think? I'm going to say sink since it's so heavy, but I don't know. Let's okay, see. Let's see. One, two, three. Bloop. Oh. All the way down to the bottom. It sinks. Sinks. Okie dokie. Okay. Let me get it out. Okay. Now for the leaf. I don't know about this one because it's really kind of big. It's so big. But it is a little bit lighter than the rock. I don't know. What do you think about that one? Mm, I don't know. Let's just try and see. Maybe, see. maybe float. Let's, Let's see. see. One, two, three. Oh. <gasps> it's floating on top. It's a float one. Unless I put the rock on it. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Are you ready to do our toy cars? Yeah, let's do it together. One, two, three. Oh! Oh my goodness, they both sunk to the bottom. Those must be pretty heavy. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if it would float on the leaf. Can Ooh, we try, try that? It. Let's try it. Okay, let's Queenie. Let's do Lightning McQueen. There you go. Okay, you Queenie. Float on the leaf. I'll put it down nice and gentle. Oh! Fell right off. <laughs> No, it nope, didn't, didn't work. What about the rubber ducky? Let's try that one. Since it floats and the leaf floats. <gasps> it's like a little boat for the ducky. That they is so float. cute. Aww. Fun. So fun. All right. That was a fun game. That was fun. I like that. Maybe you can play that at home. Oh, good idea. That was so much fun. Mm -hmm. Some things sink and some things float. What are some things that go in the water? Hmm. Yeah, a turtle. A turtle could go in the water. What else? A duck. A duck mm -hmm. swims in the That's water. Right. What about a frog? Of course. Right. Yeah, a frog swims in the water. Ooh, boats float on water too. Yeah, they're so big. I wonder yeah. how. That's interesting. Yeah. What about a baby? A baby, baby float in the water? Well, only with his mom or dad. A baby is too little to swim in the water alone, right? Yeah. Let's learn about a baby in the water. Oh, okay. <gasps> baby starts with the letter B. Mm -hmm. B, B, baby. Can you say B? Good job. Now say B, B, B. Good. The letter B says B. Can you pretend to write the letter B? We can do it in the air. Get your finger up. We're gonna draw a line straight down. Now give it two bumps on the side. Good, you made the letter B. B, B, B. What's that? charge like a king. You want to put that on? Oh, yeah, let's see what I would look like as a pharaoh. Oh, here we go. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh. Look at you. You look just like 
take a pay roll. Pay roll, pay roll. To the sides. <gasps> and look at this one here. This is one of the fancy. Look at here. Oh my goodness. Look at all this pretty jewel. Oh wow. Oh, oh what way to way to think too. about that. That is super neat. I love it. And the Pharaoh's daughter wore something like this. You look like a princess. I what do you love think? it. Look at these jewels all in front of my head. Now, a long time ago, the Pharaoh was in charge of Egypt. And remember, he was like a king, but called a Pharaoh. He was in charge and thought there were way too many Israelites. He was afraid they'd get more and more people and kick them out of power. Ooh. Oh no. Um, so what did he do if he was that worried? Oh my goodness, he came up with a plan, an evil plan. Oh, <laughs> scary. Mm -hmm, yes, he said that every baby boy was to be thrown into the Nile River. What? The Nile River? Can you believe that? That's so mean. That is so mean. Yeah. And what did we learn about babies in the water? Babies don't go in the water without their mommies and their daddies. No. That's, that's just an evil plan. So, so bad. I can't even believe that. There was a man and a woman who had a little baby boy. Let's see, you want to get the baby? Oh no. But it's a baby boy. This isn't good. I know, but you know what? Don't be afraid. This is actually a good story. Okay. Because they love God and God helped them. They hid the baby for three months. Three? <gasps> That's the number we're learning today. Can you count with me to three? One, two, three. Great job! Let's do it again. One, two, three. Good job. You're so smart. Wow, that was great. So his parents kept him a secret for three months, but then he would cry and they couldn't hide him any longer. It was too loud. Well, if she couldn't hide him anymore and the Pharaoh was going to throw him in the river, what did she do? Well, she was so smart. She made a basket out of tall grass, and then she coated it with tar to keep the water out. She made it waterproof. What? Yeah. She made a baby boat? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it was amazing. Such a great idea. Yeah. She kind of did. It was a waterproof basket. She placed him in a basket, and then she put the basket with the baby in the tall grass that grew on the banks of the Nile River. Ooh. Yeah, his big sister was on the lookout. She kept watch to see what happened. The baby's sister, Miriam, was so brave. Mm -hmm. Remember at the beginning we talked about Miriam? She was so brave. She watched to keep her baby brother safe. What a great sister. So good. That's right. We can be brave like Miriam too. Well, were there alligators in the river? Oh, because, no. yikes. Yeah, that's scary, but no, okay. not this river. Okay. In fact, in this river, the Pharaoh's daughter, the princess, was bathing in the river. She was getting oh. all cleaned up. Hmm. Taking a bath mm -hmm. in the river? <laughs> I don't ever take a bath yeah, in the a river. That's so strange. Yeah. <laughs> when the Pharaoh's daughter saw the basket floating in the water, she asked her helper to get it for her. And when she opened it, what did she see? Yes, a baby boy. But wait. Um, it was an Israelite boy, and her father wanted the baby thrown into the river, remember? Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Okay. But the baby was so cute. So cute. The princess decided to keep that little baby and raise him as her very own. Aww. She adopted that sweet little baby. Aw, that is so neat. Adoption is so special. Do you know what that word means? Adoption? Mm. Yeah, sometimes a mom has a baby in her tummy 
and she can't take care of it. So another mom adopts the baby mm. and becomes her baby. Yeah, moms and dads can choose to adopt a baby and love that baby so much. God adopts all of us and we're a part of his family. Adoption is so, so special. So what happens next in the Bible story? Well, remember the baby sister? She was watching close by. Well, she went to the princess and said, hey, do you want me to go get one of the Hebrew women to nurse the baby for you? Would that be helpful? What a great idea! So smart! She's so smart. So smart. The princess thought so too and said, Ooh, yes please. That would be wonderful. Yay! She went and got the baby's own mom. So the own mom got to help take care of him. Wow, that is awesome. What great news. Such great news. She's just so smart to think of all these things. Pharaoh's daughter named the baby boy Moses. Can you say Moses? Moses. Moses. Oh, wow. Moses is going to do a lot of great things in the Bible. Mm -hmm. I know. Let's sing a song about Moses. Oh, yes, I love to sing. Okay. Baby Moses floating in the water. Baby Moses floating in the water. Baby Moses floating in the water. Splish, splash, splish, splash, splash. Pharaoh's daughter bathing in the river. Pharaoh's daughter bathing in the river. Pharaoh's daughter bathing in the river. Scrub a dub 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 dub. Then she found a little bitty baby. Then she found a little bitty baby. Then she found a little bitty baby. Wah, 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 wah. She adopted sweet baby Moses. She adopted sweet baby Moses. She adopted sweet baby Moses. Goo goo ga ga ya. Silly baby. So silly. Well, let's see what you learned. Have you been listening? Let's see. How many months did mom keep the baby hidden? Do you remember? Three. Right. One, two, three. That's right. Yep. And what did mom make to put the baby in? Yes, a basket. You're right. I have a hard one. Where did she put the baby in the basket? Where did she put them? Yeah, in the Nile River. Good job. I thought that was a tricky one, that but you got so it. So tricky. And who found the baby? Hmm? The Pharaoh's daughter, the princess. That's right. Yeah. What did she name the baby? Moses. Yeah, yep. You did such a great job. Good listening. And what about Moses' big sister? What did we learn about Miriam? She was so brave. And we can be brave too. That's right. I mean, sometimes we get scared. Mm, what are you afraid of? Mm, sometimes I'm afraid of the dark. Yeah. yeah. Or spiders. Or maybe thunder and lightning. Yikes. Well, those can all be scary things, but we have God. And our God is bigger than the dark. He's bigger than the spiders. He's bigger than a thunder and lightning. So, we have a fun song about this mm. to help us always remember that our God is so big and strong and mighty. Mm -hmm. Do you want to sing with us? Yes. Kay. Let's do it. Okay. Are you ready? I'm Here ready. Go. Let's go. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the valleys are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. That was a great song. So I love that song. 
Remember, God is with you so you can be brave too. When you get scared, just close your eyes, bow your head, and talk to God like you are talking to a friend. He will always, always help you. I know. Let's pray right now. Let's ask God to help us to be brave. Dear God, thank you for Miriam and for her being so brave for her brother. Help us to be brave just like her. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hmm. Let's find out. See. Are you ready? Here we go. Boop. Ah, it was floating. It floats. Yes, a floater. Our oh, no. <laughs> what? She made a boat, baby. Nope. <laughs> she, <laughs> no, she made a she boat. She did not baby. make a boat, baby. Oh. Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. I don't even 